All right, welcome to this Monster Hunter video on Ruiner Ergante. We have this dude who is big, bad, and thorny, right? He's amazing. Pretty much with this guy, it's just, you know, avoiding his fucking uh, little thorn that they shoot out. Because other than that, he has pretty obvious identifiers. His wind-ups for his attacks are really, really obvious. I mean, like, he's either going to put his wings in the ground, he's going to, like, crouch down to pounce, or he's going to fly halfway across the map and try to smash you like that there. Be careful when he does do that, though, because he either shoot this, the black thorns out in front of him every time, even whenever he hasn't charged up to, uh, you know, grow new spikes. And as you can see, it will kill you even if he's not aiming towards you. Say he's trying to hit your, my little mouse right there. He smashed down the mouse, but I was over there trying to heal up, and he just shot me with the black thorns, and they do the most damage out of all of his moves. Other than the uh, ground and pound smash, you have to be watch, watch out for that one as well. And it seems like every move he has... Um, uh, but, you know, like, regular Nergigante, you know, he'll, like, grow the spikes, it seems like. It seems like this one just has the spikes always, you know what I mean? You can break them off, but they're, I don't know, I'm using a longsword. I don't have the part breaker, uh, bonus, I'm just using the regular, you know what I mean? High, highest attack, highest crit, you know, affinity build, but, uh, it's still, I haven't broken off any pieces of his, uh, his body at all. I know his tail is breakable, obviously, and his horns are breakable. You can the extinction great horns, and then the two uh, four paws, I guess you could call them, those are breakable uh, to get, you know, some pieces to build some gear and stuff, but it's still difficult to break off the parts of uh, the Ruiner Nergante with the build that I'm using currently. I would recommend bringing somebody to stun him, and also somebody like I have, you know what I mean, to heal you, because he is a pretty intense fight, unless he gets stamina drained like he is right there, he's always moving, always attacking, always doing something, and it can be really, really annoying to get an opener for an attack, you know, especially if you're a beginner player, or if it's your first time fighting him like it is my first time fighting him in this video. So, with that, I hope you guys do enjoy the rest of the video, um, I'll get you his weaknesses and all that stuff here in a second. All right, there it is. You can see that he has pretty good fucking resistances. Dragon does a lot of damage to him. He's dragon. So I would say all his other ailments are two star, and you know what I mean? His breakability is two on all his breakable parts. So with that, I'll let you watch and enjoy the rest of the video, and I will catch up with you later. If you like the video, like and subscribe, and uh, check out the channel regularly for more content. Hit that notification bell. You can see when I drop a new video. It should be about once or twice, maybe four times, maybe 20 times weekly. And I'll see you later. Peace.